You need to prep for the episode. So you need to figure out the outline. You need to figure out what you're talking about. You need to figure out who is your avatar? What do they need to know? And kind of outline out like, is there three things? Is there eight things that they need to know about this subject? If you go into an episode prepared and ready, you're not going to say, um, or, uh, and so nothing's really going to have to get cut out. You're going to go in feeling more comfortable and then you're going to be able to be yourself, which is later on in these numbers. So when you're thinking about the outline, also think about hook story offer. Just write that down. So if you want to prep for an episode, not only do you need to know what are the three top things or the eight top things that you need to do for this subject, also figure out how am I going to start that episode? Like, am I going to ask a question? Am I going to give some uh, crazy statistic? How am I going to you know, grab the attention of my listener? And then we go into the story that the middle part of your episode, the longest part of your episode is the story. This is where oftentimes you might actually use a story to illustrate your point. And then you go into the offer and the offer doesn't need to be an actual offer. It can be any type of call to action. So um, when you're looking at hook story offer, that offer is, hey, today you learned the eight things you need to do to sound better on your microphone so you can sound like a pro and feel better about yourself. Now I want you to go and implement these things. For example, might be an offer, a call to action at the end of an episode. Number seven, you need to get in the zone. So how do you get in the zone? One of the things that I do almost every time I go to record a podcast, especially when I need it, and I did it today. Um, what that focus getting in the zone is closing your eyes, maybe even meditating, maybe even doing a little bit of breath work or even just one or two slow breaths while you're thinking about your avatar. You're, you're visualizing that person. So my avatar might be Corey or Pat or Sam. As I think about Sam, I think about what, what is she going through? What, what does she look like? What does she need? And as I think about that, I'm like, all right, all right. I'm channeling her. I'm channeling my energy to be able to fit with that energy that she has so she can absorb the content that she needs. So I get in the zone, maybe a couple of breaths at least. Think about, look at your avatar and go from there. Number six is you want to be natural. Be yourself. You be, what is that, what is that thing? It be beautiful. And the you is Y-O-U beautiful. And when we think about that, it's, it's, you are your own unique person. Nobody else in the world is like you. So don't try to be like some other influencer that you heard. You need to be able to find out who you are, how you come across with your friends, with your family, when you're out with, with the, the boys or out with the girls, who are you at that time? And try to be as authentic as possible. So number six is to be natural. Be yourself. <laughs> we can smell it when you're trying to be somebody that you're not. Even if we can't consciously uh, know for a fact that, that something's off, we subconsciously feel it. And it makes it really challenging for us as your listener to be able to end up hiring you or doing anything like that with you. Maybe even keep and continuing to listen to the podcast could be difficult if you are not yourself. So be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>